Hi everyone, my name is Leverick and welcome to Scoop NS 2.0 tutorial, the second part of the Pi case category 1. Today we will see the last 12 cases of this pattern. If a uh, JSON sent us on the left side. Okay, now we can start it. The first one is the most easiest that I will show you. We recognize it by, by the block on the back. These two centers that are adjacent and these two centers that have to be swapped. So for this case we start here and just do the sledge case. Easy. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases we now have the variations of uh, setups of a triple sledge case. And the difference between these two is that this one the two swap centers are on the right side uh, and the block uh, is uh, on the front and that the other one, the two swap centers are on the left si side now and the block on the back. So for the first one, if uh, two swap centers are on this side and the block uh, on the front, we start here and do this arc. The little the big B prime the little r prime, big r prime, the little r, the big b, little r prime, big r, little r, and it's solved. And for for the other one, if uh, these two cent uh, swap centers are on the this side and the block are on the back, we start here and do this arc. Big b, big r, big b prime. The little r, z, big r, little r prime, big r prime, z prime, little r prime, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next case, we now have the variation of a U perm. So we recognize it by these two blocks, one on the front, another one in the back, and these three centers that gives in this situation a U perm. So for this case we start here and do the sledge and hedge cases. So we do here a sledge Z2 hedge. Let's solve. For this one I will show you another arc that I in the discovered. It goes like this. We start now here and do this arc. The little r, big B, little r, Y prime little r prime, big r prime, little r prime, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases we now have the variations of the uh, O perms. There, there are two blocks and three centers that, that gives in this situation uh, an O perm. And the difference be between these two is that this one, the adjacent center, is uh, on the right side next to the blocks, and that the other one, the adjacent center, is uh, on the left side now, next to, to the blocks. So for the first one, if the adjacent centers are on this side, next to the blocks, we start here and do this arc. A little r prime, big r prime, little r. Z and we do here the hedge case. Big R, the little R prime, big R prime, and it's off. And for the other one, if the adjacent centers are on this side now, next to the blocks, we start here and do this arc. Little R, big R, big B prime, the little R, Z. Big R, little R prime, big R, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have the variations of the X perms. And the difference be between these two is that uh, this one, the X perm is uh, on the right side, it goes counterclockwise, and that the other one, the X perm is uh, on the left side now, it goes clockwise. 
So for the first one is the uh, XP missile on the right side, it goes counterclockwise. We start here and do this arc. Big R prime, little R, big R prime, the little, little R prime, Z prime, the little R prime, big R prime, little R. Z, big R prime, little R. And it's off. And for the other one, if the X permissa on the left side now, it goes clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Big R prime, Z prime, and we do here the sledge case. Z2 prime, the little R prime, big R, little R prime, big R prime, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases we now have the variations of the uh, watt perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the watt perm, is uh, on the left side, it goes clockwise. And that the other one, the watt perm is uh, on the right side now, it goes counterclockwise. So for the first one, if the watt perm is on the left side, it goes clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r, little r, big r. Little r prime, big r prime, little r. Big b, big r, big b prime, big r. And it's off. And for the other one, if the watt perm is on the right side now, it goes counterclockwise. We start again here and do this arc. The little r, big r prime, little r. Big b, little r prime, big r, z, the big r prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r. And so, let's do the last cases. Finally, we have the variations of the swirl perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the swirl perm is on the right side, it goes counterclockwise. And that the other one, the swirl perm is on the left side now, it goes clockwise. So for the first one, if the swirl perm is on the right side, it goes counterclockwise. We start here and do this arc. The little b, big r, little r prime. The little b, big r, little r prime, big r prime, little r. And it's off. And for your other one, if the swirl perm is on the left side now, it goes clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Big R, little b, big R prime, little r, z prime, little r prime, big r prime, big b prime, little r, and it's off. Okay, and that's all to show about the Pi case category one. That was the last part. Later, I will upload the High case category 3. The pattern that I will show will be this one if the uh, adjacent center is on the front side. So, see you there. Bye.